two here at the Minnesota State Fair, and we have one of the cutest, most cuddliest animals with us here today. Yeah, everyone's at the fair. They're so adorable. There are they, more than uh, 300 rabbits, I believe, competing this year in the competition, and that is one of them, and we're very happy uh -huh. that Lizzie Larson is here. Lizzie, good to see you. Where are you from? Um, I'm from right here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, cool. And now yep. tell us who you brought with us because you have okay. some uh, great looking people and rabbits. So, uh, <laughs> this is Marcus. And his rabbit's name is Diamond. Um, Hannah is with the little black bunny Onyx. Okay. Uh, Bobby has the brown one, and his rabbit's name is Brownie. And then Sage has uh, Georgia. Bo Bobby, way to keep it simple. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, this is cute. So obviously, there's different breeds, different categories. What, what do judges look for? Um, well, agility isn't something that is done at like fairs necessarily like the state fair doesn't recognize it as an actual rabbit thing okay. so channel four yeah. will don't you worry <laughs> <laughs> um but when we do it uh the judge looks for a rabbit who can go through without knocking down any of the bars and without having to have the person pick up the rabbit and you and i were talking a little bit before you do actually train these uh, uh, easy to train or difficult um, it's pretty easy uh Normally you start with ones on the ground like this and they just jump over just to get the feel that the bars won't hurt them because otherwise they imagine the bars will hurt them. Um, and then you just start with one of these and you just have one bar on and they jump over that and you just slowly make it harder until they it, can do it. Is it like a dog, Lizzie, to give it a reward and try to train it? I mean, do they um, work the same way? Or? Some people do that. Okay. I've never done that. Okay. You're just more of a disciplinarian. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see. That. All right. Well, can we can yes. we do an example? Can you show a little Definitely. exhibit? Uh, this is so interesting. Maybe you can help narrate who's gonna who's gonna okay. go first here. Well, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how Georgia does. Okay. Yes. Oh, Georgia doesn't look. Okay. So Georgia looks like she's this little go stage for the fright. In and out first. Okay. Uh, nice. She goes in. Nice. Let's see, if she goes out. Okay. Half point for in. She just yeah. wants to stay there. Yeah. She's, well, it's a big freak so out on TV. she would have lost points there okay. because she touched her rabbit. Ah, uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yep. And now will Georgia go through? She should go through. It was Which rabbit was on the loose earlier while Chris um, was doing his rabbit? That was Bobby's rabbit, okay. Brownie. Bobby's, Bobby's ready to roll. Bobby's rabbit. Yeah, okay. yeah, Brownie's ready. All right. There you go, Georgia. Well done. Okay, can we try another one? Let's yeah, see who definitely. does. Bobby, let's see your okay. rabbit go. Okay. And oh Here yeah, goes Brownie. Brownie. So we'll see if. Oh, oh, oh Brownie. We kind of added the idea. a little trick in there for okay. you guys. All right. Let's see if he'll go out. Yep. There he goes. Oh, he went. Oh, there he goes. And there goes Brownie. Wow. Okay, Brownie doesn't mind to the obstacle course. Yeah. Oh, that one jumped right in. Here comes Onyx. Onyx jumped right in. That was yep. great. Well, none of them want to go out, do they? No. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right, oh, Marcus, it's up okay. to you. It's up to you. Let's see. Will that one go through? No. No, no not going to go through? He's All a right. pretty rabbit. All right. Well, he uh, probably has like a better agent or something like that. <laughs> More than that. Well, you guys, congratulations. Your animals look beautiful. We sure appreciate you coming by, and good luck and have fun with it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you bet. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Augustinak from our morning shows here. Gusty, great to see you. How are things going? Good to see you guys as well. Uh, I promise this next sentence has nothing to do with the rabbits. There are over 50 new foods on the menu at the State Fair. <laughs> uh, then there's at least one that you won't find on any official list. It's the adult root beer float at Cafe Carib. Uh, fair rules don't allow alcoholic beverages to be advertised, but that's never stopped us. <laughs> it's Mike's Mix this week, the hard root beer float. <laughs> So it's not your father's root beer, which is 5.9% alcohol from Small Town Brewery. Founded as a small family brewery in Illinois, that hard soda, as some people refer to it, is part of an emerging trend towards sweet flavored beers. It came to the attention of Cafe Caribs co-owners at a tasting. I saw and talked to a lot of customers enjoying the root beer on its own, but hey, it's the state fair. Let's jazz it up. We are pairing it with uh, Blue Bunny ice cream as a hard root beer float, and it tastes just like a root beer float. I think I'm going to love it. You're going to love it. All right, let's give it a try. Sierra is one of the bartenders you'll meet at Cafe Carib, and she showed us how the floats are made. Ice cream, beer. Yeah, it's just that easy. They're not kidding. When they say this tastes just like root beer, it really does. I think I'm just going to tell the bosses this is a plain old root beer float. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and maybe pace yourself by enjoying some of their signature menu items that are a break from all the stuff on a stick. Like last year's bestseller, the lobster roll. 
which is a cold lobster salad in a citrus dressing, um, kind of spicy, um, served, you know, New England style on a lobster roll bun. Grab a table, listen to the live music, and don't be surprised if you see Bill, who on day one of the fair was already back for his second taste of the root beer. They're awesome. They're unbelievable. And I normally don't drink. I mean, I'm not a beer drinker or a drinker at all. And my kids got me hooked on it. They're just great. Oh, oh it's the yeah, kids. Right. It's always the kids. <laughs> that guy was the best. I'm a little worried about Bill. <laughs> Bill's like, this is my third one. Now, so uh, because uh, it is alcoholic and yeah. you need to be 21 to drink it, we don't have any samples. I'm sorry. <laughs> but know. you know where to get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's at Cafe Caribe. It's actually <clears throat> very close to the Channel it 4 is, building. It is. Just, just don't <laughs> just throw down it, the street there. So tomorrow morning, we're going to be back here at 8 a.m. We would love for you to join us here on the corner of Carnes and Nelson for WCCO Saturday morning. We're going to be live starting at 8 a.m. We have new fair food, the Wild Rice Benedict Muffin. Perfect for that time of day. And we're going to show you the fair from a whole new perspective, how to see it from the sky. Plus, yeah, the fair from the air. Exactly, fair from the air. We had a really good time with that. And also, you can be a part of our live audience. Uh, you can have some free food, a chance to be on live TV as well. Also this weekend, the State Fair is Going country, Carrie Underwood is at the grandstand on Saturday night, and Alan Jackson will be there on Sunday. And Senator Amy Klobuchar will join Esme Murphy and me for the 10:30 a.m. newscast on Sunday. She's going to discuss her new book, upcoming presidential race, and a lot more. That's from here at our WCCO booth at the corner of Carnes and Nelson. And of course, tomorrow is actually a top 10 weather day. Not that today was all that bad, but tomorrow's just going to be that much better. So, so tomorrow's going to be perfect. Uh, there's no reason to not be out here and join us again starting at 8 tomorrow morning, Frank and Amelia. It's going to be a wow. lot of fun, guys. Those two are brilliant. They found beer camouflaged as, as a root drink. beer. See? Brilliant. See, we should think They're like brilliant. that. Yeah. Wow. Listen, out here at the fair, there's a lot, a lot of food, so it takes a long time to go and try and eat everything. It does, and if you want to be greedy and you want to go ahead and sample everything, do what Chris and I did. Just go up to someone and say, hey, maybe could I have a bite of that? Let's see who shares our food with us coming up next.